Before we go on any further, um, I really want to figure out what's going on with Internet Explorer because um, every this my content's being centered everywhere else my main content div container except for Internet Explorer and um, the last thing I want to do is target is use uh, the IE conditional statements because to tell you the truth I know what I'm doing works in an Internet Explorer so it's a bit frustrating why these um, the margin and my width thing is not setting this thing up to be in the middle. Well, I'll tell you, the solution to fix this uh, doesn't require any CSS. It actually, you need to add some HTML to the mix. And um, this kind of thing could be very frustrating to someone starting off, but it kind of dawned on me while I was messing around with this why I why this is, may not be working for me. Um, when I started building uh, the basic layout in TextMate, I started with some very, very bare bone HTML here. And in reality, I didn't even f do it right. I just kind of was, was hoping, I was basically put some HTML together and I was hoping that when I throw in some CSS, it would work right. Well, all that's missing to get this working in Internet Explorer is dun 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 the doc type declaration because this doc type declaration particularly this file this strict dtd that's what's going to tell internet explorer it's going to tell tell it explore the rules of how it should how it should work with the content that it finds and check this out once i save this and i refresh internet explorer yeah go figure that it's right there in the middle so I mean the question here is what lessons have we learned from doing this well um, it's important that you have the right foundation for what you're doing uh, and the right foundation may be things that you may not realize are that important but are extremely important in having this thing render right and in this situation, all it was was a doc. It was a missing doc type declaration that most of the time you wouldn't. It wouldn't even dawn on you that that it has such impact. Uh, but the missing doc type declaration uh, wasn't centering the stuff in the middle. But now it's good to go, and I'm. I'm at a good place because now I'm ready to move on and I'm almost like fully done with my layout and I could start getting into all the functionality for my page. One other thing that's funny about this is that while adding the doc type declaration uh, gets IE to center the content just right, uh, I noticed that it also adds a little bit of space in WebKit. Um, that's Safari and Chrome. So check this out. Here is the doc type. Uh, here's the document without the doc type, and you see that the that the header from the top browser Chrome is pretty close. Once I add the doc type, I'm going to refresh that. Let's look closely and see it adds that space, which is uh, kind of funny, uh, but. Actually, kind of highly annoying too. And I, I tried the business of adding padding zero, thinking maybe that had something to do with it, and it didn't fix it. So uh, I'm not going to drive myself crazy here, though, because uh, the next order of business is I'm actually just going to create a new document in Dreamweaver, and it's going to put all that other stuff. Maybe that character, uh, the character set decoration, will fix it. I don't know, but um, I know that I'm kind of skating on thin ice over here, so before I spend any of my efforts trying to figure out what's going on, I'm going to build the page uh, starting the right way with the current HTML and CSS that I have.